A lot of engineering goes into making the ultimate fried chicken sandwich. We tested and tasted a lot of versions, so I will walk you through the steps to making Bon Appetit's best. The first step is to cure our chicken. I have boneless, skinless chicken thighs because those make the juiciest sandwiches. It's really just a light sprinkling. Once these are seasoned, they go in the fridge uncovered overnight. These chicken thighs were in the fridge overnight and we are ready to dredge. The first step is to lightly coat in flour to work it into all of the crevices of the meat. This next step, I cannot stress the importance of enough. It is working a little bit of the wet, the buttermilk mixture, into the dry. This is what's gonna give us a very, very crunchy, thick coating. I give the chicken a dip into the buttermilk bath, letting some of that excess drip off. It gets sort of a corn flaky look from those bits of flour, and it's those pieces that fry into little crispy nuggets. All right, we've reached the crucial stage in fried chicken sandwich making. We're ready to fry. Frying at home can be a little bit scary, so when you lay in your chicken, you want to lay it away from you and not toward you so you don't splatter oil. Now, this chicken will take five to eight minutes depending on how big the thighs are, so I'm just going to periodically turn them over. All of those clumps of flour are now turning into like delicious, beautiful fried morsels. Yeah. I have a little bit of melted butter, and these go into a dry cast iron skillet just into a golden brown. I have some shaved iceberg lettuce, our seasoned mayo, and a little bit of pickle juice. Toss this together. A generous amount of seasoned mayo. Our fried chicken goes down. I hit this with a healthy amount of hot sauce. Our slaw, and a few bread and butter pickles. This really is the ultimate fried chicken sandwich. It hits at optimal levels of salty, crunchy, fatty, spicy, tangy. It doesn't get any better.